Cool. Cool. So now we're up to season two. Uh, have you guys had any like fan reactions, like in person? Yeah. For season two, or, or just, just in no, general? just like now that you've done it and people have watched it. Yeah. Definitely, there's, there's been a lot of outpouring of love. I mean, especially on, on Twitter, obviously, but then yeah. even IRL. I mean, we see people, yeah. especially IRL. here, we just, yeah. <laughs> All of the cosplayers are mind blowing. Like, whenever I see a Bo cosplay, I kind of freak out. I'm like, I voice that character. And people really, I'm a huge anime fan. So, um, when I see people who cosplay like Naruto or Sasuke and things like that, I'm like, well, that's super cool. But then to see somebody dress up as a character that I voice is mind boggling. Yeah. Like, yeah. I've never done something like that experience. That either, so it's just yeah. like crazy to see someone dress up as Frost in the whole gown, yeah. and it's like, oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah. It's just like, I just, I, I start freaking out. I feel like sometimes that I'm a fan of Shiro and myself because I'm just like, oh my gosh, I can't wait for the next season to come yeah. out. I'm like, I already know. But yeah. I still can't wait, you know? So I. Uh, to see I, it animated and such. Yes, yeah. exactly. And um, I did, I have met a few people that have like said, oh wait, you are Shiro, that's so awesome, oh my gosh. So. Yeah, it's crazy to see how many people are affected by it. Because Having yeah. done the first season, uh, was there anything different you wanted to do with your voices in season two? Um, I think for me at least. You did? You did? No, 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 no. okay. I, um, I didn't, I mean, unintentionally, when we started the show, my voice was a little bit higher pitched. Um, so it's kind of interesting just to see like the development of Bo's voice as we've gone along. It's it's because I try to get into that same like Adora like up here a little bit is kind of the range that that Bo stays in. It's pretty similar to my normal voice, um, which is kind of nice. But my normal voice has changed, so um, just trying to find young Bo has been has been a, a challenge, but it's been fun. In the same way, um, I, I think in the first season, Glimmer doesn't really have. Um, she's still following in her mother's footsteps and I think as uh, the episodes go on she's gaining more and more power and finding her own independence and I think through that in season two uh, I try there were moments in season two where she is in a leadership position and for that it calls for a, a, a voice of a leader so I think it, it dropped a tiny bit in range and uh, power, and uh, I think it, it's mainly about you know having both feet on your ground and really standing ground before I begin the take. Yeah. Yeah. Um, for me, I get I got to explore um, Frosta's not so cold side in season two because I got right. to like yeah. I forgot about like, that. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 like in in season one, it was very like I'm the ruler. Listen to me. I'm acting like this so that you'll listen to me because I'm younger than you and now she's like with a group of peers so she gets to like let loose a little bit more and being able to um, just actually I get to yell a lot which I love um, so yeah it's, been, it, yeah it's been yeah, really fun I love, yeah, I love yelling good release of energy <laughs> it is yeah what are you excited for each of your characters in season two um, I'm excited to see Frosta and Glimmer's interactions because it's just so cute. They're so cute, honestly. <laughs> it's so adorable. Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's the thing I'm most looking forward to. I'm also looking forward to everyone seeing the um, the world through all the characters' eyes. That's one of my favorite episodes in this season. So I'm really yeah. yeah, the D&D one. Yeah. I mean, you just mentioned it, but you know, in the beginning of the season, Glimmer gives Frosta, I guess, a cold shoulder. She's not really into the idea of their friendship, but um, we find out why, and I think the reason behind it is really touching as well. Um, I think in season two, Glimmer really goes through uh, trying to figure out how to defeat the Horde and, as a leader, how to you know lead the rebellion. And she finds herself in dark places at times because. She wants to be good, but she sometimes she thinks you gotta fight dirty to uh, defeat the horde, and you gotta you gotta do this maybe. But inherently, she's a good person, and her you know team, the alliance, we have to be good people. So her struggles with trying to be good while 
also uh, attempting to defeat the evil board? Um, I think definitely for Bo, uh, trick arrows. <laughs> Just more trick arrows. It's so exciting. We've got to see a little bit um, in some of the trailers with the uh, that goop arrow that got um, Scorpius stuck. Um, so there's some exciting, hilarious. I mean, I know we had the the um, what was I think it was the sound arrow, the sonar arrow yeah. in the first season, which was pretty funny. Um, so I'm just looking forward to more of those. Sonic so, arrow. That's Sonic what's arrow. Right. There yeah, it was. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> Sonic <laughs> arrow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm um, looking forward to that and just all the tech that Bo ends up developing to come back and trapped in her robots. So, um, other than your own characters, who's your favorite character, and has it changed? Ooh. Oh, I've been saying this from the beginning, but I love Entrapta. Yeah. She is such a quirky character. She's unapologetically nerdy, which makes her great. Yeah. Um, and I don't know, I worked on a movie with Christine Woods. Um, it's called Stray. And we play very serious characters. She's um, a detective and uh, we're trying to solve this uh, murder, essentially. And so she, uh, to see her and being on set with her in those character thoughts and then going from that to Entrapta and Glimmer, it, it's its really exciting and um, I think fun to play around with, yeah. Um, I have three. <laughs> Ooh, so I better be one of them. them. I haven't <laughs> um, yeah, I can't commit, I can't commit, but it's hard. Um, I'm gonna go Mermissa is definitely oh, one of them. Oh, yes. Yeah. Mermissa yeah, is, so funny. Yeah, so I, funny. Uh, yeah, Mermissa is just so, like, I feel like I identify with her sometimes. Just like, come on, man. You know, like, I really just don't want to do this. You feel me? And then um, another one is probably Seahawk, just because I get to sing ballads with him. It's kind of, it's kind of exciting. Wait for some excellent singing by Sir Bo. Yeah, Sir yes. Bo. Um, and then it's a tie between Fro uh, Frost and Glimmer. I'm not going to lie. Because yeah. I want the teleportation powers. Like, those seem super sick and I've always liked those as a kid. And then also, the ice make magic is just insane. So, Ice Queen. Ice Queen. Yeah. Um, when, we're at, when I'm at home watching with my mom and like we watch the seasons all the time and I'm like, I always am talking about Bo, and I'm not just saying because yeah. you're here. I'm like, I'm always like, oh my god, Bo is, oh my gosh, it's like all the subtle things like he puts away his clothes and his voice cracks. I'm like, oh, Bo is so cool. So I love Bo. I like, um, I like Seahawk too. He's just, he's awesome. The way he, his, his songs are amazing. I love Entrapta. I still can't commit to one, but Bo is very, very much in my top. Yeah. Have any of you um, had a moment where you go? I'm not sure my character would say that, or where you go, oh, I didn't know that about my character. Um, I, th I think it's it's true for all of us coming season two. There is definitely a, a little bit of a tonal change for the entire show. Um, and so it definitely gets a little more serious, and Bo is not the serious type. But, um, excuse me, there are a few moments where he's brooding. Um, so it's pretty exciting. Um, to go into that aspect of Bo, and I'm like, I don't think Bo would say this, but then Noel's like, no, in this moment he would, and I'm like, Noel, you are right. <laughs> you created this show, you know. And I'm like, uh, but then I, I, you come to see as the story develops that Bo is um, still the same person at heart, but um, he definitely makes some interesting decisions and says some things. So. Um, yeah, no, um, I kind of touched upon this earlier, but I think in season two, Glimmer is going through some struggles within herself to, uh, her, you know, facing her darkness. And I think reading this script, I was so astonished by the things that she wanted to do and the things that she th thought were great ideas for leading the rebellion. Um, when it's you know, everyone else is opposing, but she she thinks it's the right thing to do. So I think that was the biggest surprise. I didn't. I thought that she would always remain this bubbly, positive character. But I think um, moving on, we see some depth as well. Yeah. And I didn't expect um, Ice Cold Frost to be as warm as she is um, in the season. Um, <laughs> thank you for appreciating. Um, but. 
like, she, I mean, I, I I always had a feeling that she was like repressing her her childish energy, um, and it's just all coming out at once, um, which is really fun to see. Um, and but, like, I didn't ex really expect it at all. I was just like, oh, she gets spices and all these different things. I mean, it's always fun to see um, a new script and you're like, oh my gosh, that new thing's happening, right? Or like, oh, that new power is happening. Yeah. So um, it's always a surprise. So we're gonna rotate tables. Thank you. 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 Thank you.